A new update from 343 talks about some major changes happening with the matchmaking for Firefight in the MCC for Season 7. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update from 343 giving us a little bit of a status update when it comes to MCC right now. As a lot of people are looking forward towards Season 7, there are a bunch of new features and new bits of content coming in. And we have a nice little update talking about the firefight side of things for this MCC Season 7 update. So if you like these news and informational videos want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, we'll make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So in the recent development update from Postums talks about saying with season seven coming up, we have an update to the matchmaking composer to add Firefight as a new option. This will allow us to do several fun things and allow players to get in on the action in a much more streamlined and accessible way. The feature is in its final stage of testing this week. The team is wrapping up polish bugs around it crossplay is also enabled for this offering and here's an image of what they're talking about right here it looks like they're going to be removing the firefight matchmaking selection and just kind of integrating that into the social games which we have up here which would actually help make a lot of sense and actually might make it a little bit more enticing for people to just kind of hop in from regular like 4v4 8v8 btb kind of style matchmaking modes and bring it and just hop right over into firefight which would really help with the populations of these two game modes because you can definitely find matches that's definitely for sure but like sometimes it can be a little difficult as you can see we have the offerings of reach and odsc as you would expect looks like we have heroic and legendary options and then some other variations as well for firefight so we could get more than just like your action sack playlist that we have currently for the mcc and it sounds like this new matchmaking setup will allow for more interesting things for 343 to do with Firefight as they mentioned later on in this development update. And here are the five reasons why they're making this change. One, this adjustment is aimed at helping to bring the Firefight communities between ODST and Reach closer so they can all find more matches. This is very true. I've been kind of Finding that Reach is a little bit less likely to find matches where ODST is much easier to find matches. But honestly, I just play the Fiesta party mode that they have for the most part. So I've been finding matches all right. Uh, number two, lower the time to find a match for Firefight. That's also going to be very true. Number three, provide an option for players to have more granularity, if that's even a word, in the game types searched. And also for four, open the door for potential rotational Firefight options and categories. And five, centralize Firefight within the core destination for social matchmaking experiences rather than in a separate menu. The existing Firefight matchmaking menu will flow now redirect to social games with the Firefight game pre-selected. So I really like this option because with when I'm playing Firefight, I know I like to play Reach and I like to play ODST as well, but having to choose one or the other, it's just like either I'm just gonna be sticking with just playing ODST or just Reach. I don't really like hop between back out of the menu. I just go right into the next game for the most part because for me, Firefight's kind of just like the same experience between the two games. Yes, I would say like ODST tease is better but i do kind of wish i was able to kind of just jump between more freely well it looks like i'll be able to do that now in firefight which looks fantastic but a really cool thing is saying how they be able to add more game modes or new timed events or something like that with firefight much like how to do with matchmaking right now in the mcc where we have a weekly rotational playlist that you can hop into like firefight snipers yes uh race or anything like that they do with matchmaking well you could probably do that now with firefight we have some pretty unique in situations and stuff maybe something timed a along with season seven's release as well, or since it's gonna be like the elite season, right? So maybe just have it be like only elites in Firefight or something kind of interesting like that to kind of mix up the gameplay a little bit because uh, doing these Firefight challenges for the weekly challenges does get a little bit repetitive. I'm just like, yeah, I just hop into like the Fiesta mode for Reach and just kind of like sit through like three or four matches, get my challenges done and move on. But I'm sure the big question you're all asking is when can we get a chance to actually play season seven as I'm super excited for the new armor customizations and the new features possibly the custom game browser as well. And it does sound like from the previous development update that there really are no blocking bugs or anything in the way for season seven to have a smooth timed launch. In the last development update, which we covered thoroughly in the last video about it, just to recap saying in good news, there are 
not a lot of problems that require significant changes ahead of Season 7. The team's focus has been around planning for future content updates, bug fixes across the collection, and continuing work on the custom game browser. We're also continuing to investigate additional modding tools and looking at more ways to bring games in the collection closer to parity with the original releases. So with everything on track, I would assume that it would come around rather quickly, actually. I was actually very surprised with the development update not talking about a release time for Season 7. Normally we get like a week heads up, because I was kind of expecting the season to kind of come around with the Wednesday playlist update that we normally get, meaning that usually about two weeks after a flight ends, we get the chance to play the new seasonal content, meaning most likely that would be June 9th. I was expecting to have the Season 7 update to go live, but with no talk about it in this development update, which would be the time to do it, it seems like maybe not this next upcoming week. Most likely it will happen on a Wednesday this month though, so either the 9th, 16th, or 23rd is probably one of those Wednesdays when I would expect to see Season 7 be released this month. As 343 stated previously that throughout the year of 2021, we will be receiving new seasons every two months. The last season came out in April 7th, meaning that June 9th, would be right around that two month time period for us to get a new season and if they say everything's on track i'm kind of expecting june 9th to be the release date still though it still sounds like there's no word whether or not the custom game browser will come with season 7 i'm still hoping so once we finally know if it is you guarantee i'll let you guys know on this channel so if you guys like these news and informational videos or missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for halo or anything like that make sure you check out the videos on the screen right here got a link to all my news and informational videos thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.